What is up, guys? Evan Melcher here, and I am honored to be able to spend some time going through um, some phone script basics and uh, going to spend some time doing mindset phone scripts directly, um, some tips for dial day and whatnot. So um, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to start with the biggest thing that I've seen that affects agents the most as far as their success, and that is when they dial and how they protect their dial time. So I learned very early on, 8 a.m., dial by 8 a.m. I'm ready at 7.30, I'm at the office at 7.30, or I'm on Zoom dial at 7.30, and I have my leads ready by 8 o'clock every single time. I always tell the story about how I played this weird like mental game with myself that if I wasn't dialing at 8 and I wasn't posting in the Discord or the Slack that I had appointments at 8.15, 8.30, that the people I worked with were going to be let down. They were going to fire me, right? Because a lot of us come from a nine to five. If you're supposed to be in the office at nine, you get there at 1030, you get fired. So why do we treat that? Why do we treat this any differently? I know we're independent, but if we want to be successful, let's stick to the basics. And that's the number one basic that I think is key to having success in this business. So I have my leads ready. I'm dialing by eight. My mindset's pretty simple. I'm not going to let anything get in the way until I have 15 appointments booked. I'm not going to go for a run. I'm not going to work out. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to eat lunch until I, I honestly used to say, I'm not going to eat lunch until I have eight appointments booked. I'm not going to go do the laundry not going to go. I mean, there's so many weird distract. I'm not going to go get my oil changed. I'm going to dial. I'm not going to go to the chiropractor. I'm going to dial. I'm not going to go to the dentist. I'm going to dial until I have 15 appointments. So what does that actually look like? How many phone calls you got to make? I don't know. Depends on your lead type. If I got a hundred internet leads. I'm going to go through them three, four, five times, triple dialing them until I have 15 appointments. It's going to take me 400 dials, 600 dials, 800 dials. I don't know. I don't care. But nothing's going to get in the way. I always tell the story. Um, a lot of you know Alex Dykes, top producer. When we worked the same office together, <laughs> and I'm throwing Alex under the bus here, but he would show up at 8.15, 8.30 sometimes, and he would have some leads that he was going to be you know, running that I had. And uh, he would come into my office at 8.15, and I'd be sitting there dialing. And I look up, get out of here. I'm dialing. Um, so he learned very quickly that he was going to start getting to the office before 8. And uh, that's just protecting your dial time. I'm not going to be calling the carriers during dial day. I'm going to do that while I'm out in the field in between appointments. Um, I'm just going to do whatever I can to protect my dial time. Let's get into... Uh, mindset, I guess, and then we'll get into scripts. So mindset with the dialing. I mean, if I have 100 leads, if I have 50 leads, somebody hangs up on me, I think just super simple. Um, you just have to expect that you're going to have a lot of disconnected numbers, people that tell you to, you know, leave them alone. They didn't fill anything out. That's really weird because I have your address and phone number down here. But if you didn't fill anything out, whatever. I'm going to move on to the next person. I'm going to try my best to help you, but we get enough leads so we just keep it moving. I'm not getting caught up on a disconnected number. I'm not getting caught up on somebody that didn't tell me, or that told me they didn't fill out a form for insurance. Like, I'm not having this negative self-talk. Like, if somebody says they didn't fill out a form, I'm not, I'm not calling my upline and being like, hey, so are these leads actually legit? Because somebody told me they didn't fill out a form for insurance. I'm just like, okay, I might door knock them if I have time, but I have 100 people to call. My goal is 15 appointments. That's 15%. That's one of one of every, I'm not good at math, but one of our, one every five, one of every six people I just have to get an appointment with. So <clears throat> tone and phone script. I'm matching their tone. I learned something pretty neat from, uh, from Don, Don Rogers when I was early into the business um, just to kind of match them. So if I call Mary and Mary kind of has a sweet voice, I'm going to kind of be like, 
Hey, Mary, this is Evan. Just getting back to you about that form you requested. If John answers and he's like, he's working construction, he's like, hello, who is this? I'm like, hey, John, this is Evan. I'm actually just getting back to you about that form you filled out. I'm just matching them, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So let's get into let's get into actual phone scripts. I'm going to go through my, my internet lead phone script. Hey, John, this is Evan. I'm actually just getting back in touch with you real quick, letting you know we got that request you put in online about the insurance program. You put down your date of birth as one, two of 54. Is that correct? Yeah. What is this about? Yeah. This is just about that form you put in about the insurance. You put down your address as one, two, three main street. Is that address still correct? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. It's my job. Super simple. I'm just the local guy that's required to get that information back out to you. Are you, uh, are you working retired or on disability? You're working. Okay. So they had me dispatched out in your area tomorrow and Saturday. I just got to get the information out to you. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. What time do you typically get home from work? Buying the schedule, giving them a couple time options, just booking the appointment. That's it's as simple as that. Final expense, mortgage protection. Hey, John, this is Evan. I'm actually just getting back in touch with you. Just with the benefits office here in Brown County. We got that uh, that form you put in that you sent in the mail about the final expense programs. I'm just the guy. I'm just the local guy assigned to your case. Uh, hey, John, this is Evan. I'm just actually getting back in touch with you real quick with the mortgage protection program for Brown County. I'm um, just letting you know we got that that form you put in back in the mail about the mortgage protection. Uh, you put down age sixty. Is that correct? Cool. I'm just moving. There are some some uh, key phrases in there I think that I use are important. I'm actually just getting back in touch with you real quick. Um, I'm verifying information they put on there right away, just refreshing that they filled something out, and I'm um, just booking the appointments. That's the goal, book the appointment. So I think that's all I have for phone script basics. Um, I appreciate you guys. Hopefully you learned something from it, and um, let's go make it happen. Biggest thing, though, with – the phone script, I'll say, none of this matters until you hit the phones. Call some people, blow their phones up, triple dial the leads. If they're sending you to voicemail, I know they're on their phone. I'm going to call them four, five, six, seven, eight times until they answer the phone. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks.